वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल्स आई एम डॉक्टर अशोक कुमार माई YouTube चैनल डॉक्टर अशोक जी मेक सोल्यूशंस सो टूडे आई ब्रॉड फॉर यू द न्यू सब्जेक्ट स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल सो टूडे विल डिस्कस द इंट्रोडक्शन क्लास ऑफ द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल वॉट इज मीनिंग ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ स्ट्रेंथ मीन्स हिज इज पावर मटेरियल्स हाउ मच ही कैन विथ स्टैंड सो वॉट इज हाउ मच मटेरियल्स विथ स्टैंड एंड respond to the applied force so how much force they can withstand we can they can survive so how will check the strength of matter strength of any materials so they have some properties if property you feel see the plasticity ductility uh, creep toughness stiffness these are the properties of the materials so based on this we can check the strength of the materials so we have lab also we have studied like rockwell hardness test brinell hardness test so for that also we are checking the strength of material so okay so difference is what i wrote how much materials with stand and respond to the applied force once are applying the force so how much they can with stand how much they can resist that is the strength of the material strength for the particular material so it can measure by the various properties so i told plasticity ductility toughness creep these all are the properties there to check the strength of the material so what we can say this in one line ability to withstand and apply, ability to withstand and applied load without failure without failure means it will go plastic li limit plastic means what is they will change the shape and size so ability to withstand with this and with how can they survive and when apply the load without failure without getting disorder so these are the basic concept for the strength of materials now mechanics is the mechanics what is branch of science where we will study about the materials so mechanics means we can say engineering mechanics we can say strength of material we can say fluid mechanics also so what is the mechanics part here mechanics of solid then mechanics of the fluid mechanics of solid now we will study about the solid this having two parts what is mechanics of the rigid body mechanics of the deformable body these things we will explain now and mechanics of the fluid so here fluid mechanics will be the different chapters so here we will study about the fluid forces so what is mechanics of the rigid body what is meaning of us rigid rigid body means body will not movable body will be fixed so this will a study in engineering mechanics only rigid body will a study in engineering mechanics only but deformable body means once apply the force body will change the shape and size so this will a study in the strength of material so now see mechanics what is the differences we given here it is the branch of science which deals with the a study of forces and their effect so force will apply some body and then in effect will study so suppose let us one example so in building beam is there so okay we'll draw one beam so one beam will be there so we have beam on the beam some load will be there point load will be there you can say udl load will be there bearing load will be there so these are the load on the beam then they has column they will be the support reactions column what they will give they will give support reactions so here what will study will a study about the forces effect forces and their effect in strength of material so now it coming their effect so how many types of effect will be there so you can say external effect external effect and another will be internal effect so what is this two i will explain now external effect means once you are applying the force externally and we will absorb suppose one example one one block is there apply the force externally apply the force p externally the capital p apply the force externally then what will happen body will move body will move so body will move with the change the positions now that is called displacement body will let so we will see the displacement then we will see the velocity also we will see the body velocity also and also we will see change in velocity per unit time that means acceleration also we can see we can see acceleration also so what will happen external effect body will move body will move 
सपोज बॉडी विल नॉट मूविंग वाई बॉडी विल नॉट मूविंग देन सम रिएक्शन फोर्स एक्टिंग दैट रिएक्शन फोर्स ऑल्सो नॉन एज एक्सटर्नल फोर्स ओनली एक्सटर्नल इफेक्ट ओनली सो के दिस वे वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड द वॉट इज द एक्सटर्नल इफेक्ट ऑन द बॉडी नॉ सपोज इंटरनल इफेक्ट इंटरनल इफेक्ट मीन्स इंटरनली वी हैव टू सी द चेंजेज वॉट इज इफेक्ट इज गोइंग ऑन सपोज यू टेक वन इन रेगुलर सेप वन वी टेक एन ऑल अराउंड फोर्सेस एक्टिंग फोर्सेस एक्टिंग सो वॉट विल हैपन हियर वी हैव टू सी द इंटरनल इफेक्ट मीन्स इंटरनली इन साइड वॉट इज हैपनिंग दैट ओनली वी हैव सी सो विल कट दिस सेक्शन सपोज विल कट दिस सेक्शन ना सो दिस वे इज कमिंग सो दिस इज द इंटरनल पार्ट then this part also this part also internal effect so internal effect what we'll see here internal effect will see either stress will change or strain stress and strain will see inside the body so that is called internal effect of the body so we'll see the inside of the body so inside body what we'll see this is stress symbol i'm getting sigma and xlm this is strain so inside body will see the effect of the stress on strain then in strength of material very important parts what is very important property what is stress and strain so first we will study about the stress and strain so what is stress and strain first we will study okay so these things i will write it so we will study about the first stress then strain then other properties also parallelly we will study so this is the basic class so we'll we'll discuss only few things suppose strain i'm taking stress first stress stress na everyone knows force per unit area force per unit area is not stress but actually force per unit area you cannot say so what we can say here is stress force <coughs> per unit internal area force per unit internal area what is the internal force now force per unit internal per unit internal area okay so just uh, one minute what is i will write it internal force per unit area internal force per unit area you can say force per unit area also or it is defined as apply like this stress it is it is defined as force per unit area force or or also some definitions you can say here what definitions we can say here so it is the it is the measure of internal resistance it is the measure of internal resistance if the body it is it is measure of the internal resistance of the body against the external force that will write here or it is it is measure of internal resistance measure then i'll explain this again it is measure of the in internal resistance internal resistance resistance of the body we start from here of the body against the external load against the external load so first i'll explain this how this will be see this how will remember the internal force per unit area so suppose take one one block take one block apply the axial load axial load na this force passes through the axis this call axial load so once you are applying the external load what will change it takes place inside the body because internal force where where will generate the internal forces inside the body inside the body so how will know this suppose uh, one one simple example is there suppose you have body you no know, lot of atoms will be there lot of atoms this uh, blocks made of the lot of atoms once you are applying the force what will happen the atoms will get movement this atom will wants to move this side this atom wants to move this side so for one particular suppose you are taking one particular molecules then they wants to move this side they wants to move this side what is happening this suppose you are applying the force 
their getting stage or some simple examples uh, see here inside one keep one atom this you assume as a spring assume as a spring now apply the force p here so what is happening once apply the force a stretch will come so spring will open like this that means <coughs> what happened due to this spring get expand once you are removing the force what is happening this wants to go this side this point wants to go this side so what is happening here they will again regain to the original position so what is this force this force is known as internal force this rope force is known as internal force so that's why stress differences what we are telling it is defined as the force per unit area but per unit area per unit internal force per unit here it is defined as internal force per unit area actually so what is internal force this is the internal force here but generally students will remember it is defined force per unit area but you cannot write force per unit area so what we can write here force internal force suppose stress is equal to nothing but internal force per unit area but generally people are remembering stress force per unit area so actually internal force per unit what is the unit force unit as we have you know newton area is meter square so unit is newton meter square or you can say pascal pascal or you can say newton per mm square actually newton per mm square and uh, meter what is the relation you see here if you know 1 meter equal to 1000 mm then 1 1 mm is equal to how much this will come this side so 10 power minus 3 meter if newton per mm square is there if you square here then square here so what will come here newton mm square 1 mm square is equal to 10 power minus 6 meter square or also you can say 10 power 6 newton meter square so that means what relations we are getting here also you can say here mega newton meter square so now you see one relations we got here what is the relation 1 newton per mm square equal to 10 power 6 newton per meter square or mega pascal what is this one unit of the stress unit of the stress okay so this we are getting the unit of the stress okay so okay now let us go the strain so before this uh, some points i will write here internal force is developed due to the so see this one key point internal forces developed internal forces developed to resist to resist deformation see this line meaning is so once you are applying the force internal force develop inside the body so internal force once developed what is internal force develop to resist the deformation to resist the deformation that's only once apply remove the applied force what will happen they wants to come again re original position so that internal force develop to resist the deformation what is the deformation this that only if you will study the strain now i will give the strain definition so strain is measure to measure of just i'll write somewhere here this over so i will write the strain what is the strain then we'll explain that also strain is nothing but what the differences will be there actually strain is nothing but change in length to the original length but actually how will define this strain is measure of different is it is it is measure of deformation it is measure of deformation of material materials under under external load under 
external load. See here, what, what is the difference I given here. But actually strain is nothing but change in length to the, suppose this strain is nothing but what is, change in length to the original length. This also you can say, but you see here, it is measure of deformation of material under the external load. Suppose you are applying the external load, what is happening? Happening internal force generate, internal force generate. What is, why internal force generate? To resist the deformation. Because once applying the force, deformations will take place. But to resist the deformations, strength. So how will measure the strength? Why we are studying the strength? So strength we can measure by the deformations of the material. So this is the definition. Stress definition, force per unit area. That means internal force per unit area. What is strength? Strength is a change in length to the original length. But actually, why strength develops? That only lines tell you what it is. It is measure of deformation of the materials. So that's why stress and strength is the major property of this strength of materials. Now, small things I will discuss here for the subject point of view. Suppose one bar is there. Bar is there. Apply the load here. Apply the load. What will happen? Deformations will take place. So, suppose this much deformation will be there. That is length is delta L. This length is L. So, the E is young modulus. What is young modulus? Nothing but stress by strain is known as young modulus. That will separately will have study. So, here, Hooke's law, what the telling? Hooke's law, what the telling? From the proportional limit, from the Proportional limit, what will happen? Stress directly proportional to, stress is directly proportional to strain. What is stress? Okay, one more line you write. Remove the constant, it will come young modulus by strain. So what is young modulus equal to? Stress by, this is also one property. Young modulus is equal to nothing but stress by strain. So now here one formula will develop. What is stress is nothing but internal force per unit area. I will write somewhere here now. This will be removed. So what will happen here? Stress by strain. Young modulus is equal to nothing but stress by strain. What is stress? Internal force per unit area and internal force per unit area. Okay. So that few minutes I will explain this, then will internal force per unit area change in length to the original length. So what will happen? P L by A E. P L by A E. What is this one? P L by A E? Nothing but elongation. So this is the one important formula which I will discuss for the next video. Okay. So next video again what I will give, we will continue from this. Okay. Thank you friends.